welcome back to my channel. I am in my bathroom today just because I am going to be talking about my current favorite hair care products plus my current favorite hair styling products. So this video is sponsored by Pros. So if you're not familiar with Pros, which Pros is actually a new brand to me, um, they make shampoos, conditioners, basically everything for the health and care of your hair. So what I love about this company and why I really wanted to share it with you guys is because it's a customizable hair care line and you do take a quiz online and you go through so many questions. And the thing that I appreciate most about pros is that the questions they ask are so incredibly detailed. It's not like your general questions that you see on other customizable websites. Pros takes into account where you live, the health of your hair, um, your age, it takes into account how thick your strands are, how much strands you lose, how often you wash your hair, if you color your hair, the list goes on. Pretty much every hair concern you may have, they take that into account. And it's almost like you have your own little scientist making you your own very special concoction just for your hair. So I'm gonna introduce you to the things that I got in the line. So first off, they sent me a hair mask. This is what it looks like. This hair mask is a little bit different just because you also use this before shampoo. So this one, I just apply it to my ends because according to the questionnaire, that's where my hair is most dry. So this is gonna treat the dry parts of my hair, help with split ends and things like that, which it also asks if you get split ends a lot. Then you go into the shampoo. So this is what the shampoo looks like and it's nice because it has your name. So you really know it was made specifically for you. And I also love the packaging. It's very, very minimal, so it looks nice in your bathroom. Now for me, the way I judge whether I'm gonna like a shampoo or whether a shampoo is good or not for me to like continue using is if it really brings a good lather to my hair. Now my hair is colored and I've used so many shampoos where I just put it on my hair and it almost is as if I'm fighting with my hair and it kind of almost feels like the shampoo dries out really quickly, maybe because my hair is colored and whatnot. Um, but this one is one of those shampoos that I will continue using just because this one gives my hair such a nice, deep lather and foams up really nicely. It doesn't dry out. I'm not having to fight with my hair and constantly put water on it. Let me tell you guys, the smell, which by the way, you get to choose the smell of your shampoo and conditioner as well. And they have a bunch of choices. And that's another big thing for me is I like shampoo and hair care products that smell really, really good. So the scent I chose was Oasis. So I screenshotted some of the notes. It's actually their limited edition scent but it just sounded so good and it honestly smells exactly how I wanted it or pictured it smelling or was hoping it was gonna smell um, so it's Oasis it's floral and fresh it's a mix of white peach bergamot jasmine and sandalwood honestly I wish they would bottle this up and make it a perfume because the smell is so good so anyway I have the same scent for the conditioner right here so again, this is the packaging. It says conditioner for Naomi. This is for shine enhancing and volume building because I have a lot of hair. And so a lot of times it gets heavy, especially with the length. So I wanted some volume in my hair. And so this is the kind of conditioner they recommended for my hair. And the conditioner is really nice and creamy and light and it does not weigh my hair down. None of these products weigh my hair down. And I think it's also really important to note that all of the ingredients are clean and sustainable sourced. I think you guys will appreciate it. Everything, all the info for this line will be down in the description box below. And I honestly encourage you guys to check it out. I genuinely, genuinely love these products a lot. I would definitely continue using them. So again, if you're interested, be sure to check the description box and hopefully you get to try them out for yourself. All right, next up, I'm gonna talk about heat protectant because heat protectant is extremely important in my hair care routine. So anytime I'm out of the shower, I obviously know I'm going to be applying heat, whether it's blow drying or just heat styling. So my two current favorites, 
it's between these two. I've talked about this one before. This is Bumble and Bumble's Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. This is the Heat UV Protective Primer. So I've used this one a bunch. I have continuously repurchased it. But honestly, I also really like this one from John Frieda. This is new it's a detox and repair it's a care and protect spray it strengthens your hair from future damage it's for dry stressed and damaged hair and this one smells so good and that's one of the reasons why i love it but it's just a really good product as well this has avocado oil and green tea for the smell. The thing I like about these two is that they're creamy. So it really feels nourishing on my strands. And then again, always make sure you're using a really good shampoo and conditioner and mask beforehand, like the ones that I just talked about from Pros, because it just makes a huge difference on your hair. And don't go cheap about shampoo and conditioner and heat protectant just because it's your hair, especially if you spend money on coloring. All right, moving on, I am gonna talk about a hair oil. So this one from Unite is a current favorite. I love this oil so much. So I really don't like a oily look at all ever for anything um, and especially on my hair and I never really cared too much or I was never really in awe of a hair oil but in comes this Unite U Oil, U Argan Oil. When I tried this one out they sent this to me as a gift um, and as soon as I applied it to my ends this was the very first time that I was like wow with a hair oil. So I actually probably need some right now so I'm just gonna apply a little bit and this one's nice and I like this one so much just because it's not heavy it doesn't make your hair look shiny or anything like that it just makes it look healthy almost as if you have virgin hair that's never been touched that kind of a look. So it goes on clear, it smells really nice and light too. I put very, very little. So I like to go like this and really kind of distribute it on my fingertips. And then I'll just, you're probably not even gonna see much of a difference just because I used so little, um, but really you don't need much. So just apply it towards the ends, just like that. And it just kind of brings it back to life. And I actually do think you may be able to see a little bit of a difference, a little bit of like a nice healthy shine, but not an oily shine. And I do see a lot of hairdressers use Unite, especially like at more high end places too, I feel like. So if you're looking for a hair oil and you think your hair might really need it, um, highly suggest this one as well. Okay, next favorite. This is another styling product. Um, so this one I've talked about before as well. This is also by Bumble and Bumble again. It's their dry spun texture spray. So this one was kind of a hard one for me. I always really love the one from Aribe. It's kind of like an OG um, and it smells so good. Um, and then Waze texturizing spray I also love a lot. So that's a good one. Then I also tried the Unite one. That one is a good one as well. But I've repurchased this so many times and I've revisited this all over again, especially with this new technique that I've done with my hair, with a new hot tool. And I just fell in love with it again. The keyword there is dry spun. When I think of dry spun, I think of like a spider web creating a new web or something. Um, and you know how a web has texture, even though it's very like transparent in a way, it blows a fine mist on your hair and it just gives your hair like almost like a dry spun type of texture. Um, so it's not gonna look too thick or too heavy. It's hard to explain, but I feel like when I say dry spun, you can kind of imagine what I mean or what they mean because it really does kind of give that effect. But I always, always, always use a texturizing spray at the end. That's pretty much the only styling product that I use just because I feel like number one, makes your hair more interesting more PC, gives your hair a little bit more life than it just sitting, you know, on your shoulders after you styled it. But I also do 
feel like it gives a little bit of volume as well. So I love this one, but also all the other ones I mentioned are good too. Okay, next up is another styling product. So this one I actually got recommended by watching Desi Perkins. Um, I think it was like her Amazon favorites video or something. And the reason why I fell in love or really started really appreciating this hair gel, which by the way, it's Hicks Total Transformations Hicks Edges Hair Gel. So this is what it looks like. And it's just like a clear paste on the inside, clear pasty gel, just like that. I really started using this during quarantine when my hair grew out so fast and it just grew out a lot. Um, and you weren't allowed to go into the salon so I couldn't color my hair and basically my roots grew out. Um, and so then I started trying to like hide that by always tying my hair slick back. I don't know if you guys noticed in a lot of my videos that I started always just wearing my hair in a low sleek pony and taking photos in that too. And then I would just always use this gel to kind of tame it and just make it you know have that sleek look and it really tamed it really nicely it's not too heavy it's not too shiny there is some shine but it's not like a wet look and I also like that it doesn't flake like zero 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 white stuff the next day or if you're trying to manipulate it it's also very flexible but still gives a good hold and also um, I know Desi Perkins uses it to style her little baby hairs against her forehead or her skin with like a toothbrush. I've never done that, but if you wanted to do that, this is a great product for something like that. So if you're looking for a good hair gel, just all around, then this one's a good one. I got this one on Amazon. Okay, so next up, it's kind of like a tool or a comb. So this one right here, I don't know if I've talked about this before. I may have, I don't remember, but Basically, I think this is called a pintail comb. So I got this on Amazon, it's like $5, and I just really like to use this side of the comb to make a clean part. So for example, if I wanted to part my hair in the middle, I'll just go like this, and then just split it evenly, just like that. And it'll give your hair a really, really nice clean part. And that was just a rough part. I didn't really concentrate too much on it. But then a lot of times before I blow dry my hair and when my hair is still damp and wet, I'll slip my hair in the middle just like this. And then I'll just like comb these parts down. And then, yeah, I just find this very useful. All right, last but not least, this is kind of like I don't know if it's a styling product, but basically it helps your hair if you're going to be in a climate, humid kind of place. Maybe Florida, maybe somewhere tropical. Um, so this I actually took with me back home where it's always humid and tropical all year round. Um, and I would spray it on my already styled hair. That way the humidity wouldn't like destroy all the all the work that I've done. So this one is by Aribe. It's called Impermeable. It's an anti-humidity spray. So this is what it looks like. And basically, like I mentioned, if you're going somewhere on a vacation, maybe to Cabo, I know it's like not kind, not as relevant right now. Um, so you can still do your hair, you know, do all of that. And then once you're done, spray this all over. And then this basically helps fight all that humidity so that it doesn't kind of dampen and dull out and make you lose your curl or whatever it is that you did to your hair. This one is kind of pricey just because Aribe products are just pretty pricey. Um, but the one good thing though is that it works and it smells really, really good as well. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have found it useful. Again, be sure to check the description box because all the information for pros and everything I talked about in this video will be down there. And if you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And again, thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. I'll see you in my next video.